Okay guys, Mike here and uh, we're out at our little camp near the river and uh, getting a quick tour here and uh, I'm very pleased today to have my friend Sticker What's up guys? <laughs> out today and uh, it's about, what would you say Terry, about what? Four, four degrees? Four or five. Four or five degrees, yeah. Up from one. Yep. So we're uh, going to make a fire here quick, do a quick brew, and uh, enjoy a little bushcraft. Maybe craft some bush. <laughs> anyway, just going with quick twig fire. And uh, Terry's working on some tinder. And uh, we're going to decide on our fire starting method here fairly shortly. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. Here's that uh, service bush Krampus that I made last weekend. And uh, here's the improvised wood stool, that, uh, a wood chair that's turned into a, a bench prop now. It gives a little more sitting space. And uh, a reflector from another previous time. And uh, yeah, it's a very quiet and beautiful day today. Well, Terry has informed me that uh, he is going to try flint and steel today. And uh, one of his preferred methods, and I don't blame him. <laughs> I kind of like it too. Uh, so here's our fire prep. He's got a little bird's nest of uh, dried grasses here. And then of course our uh, various twigs in their different sizes. Uh, got quite a bit there. and. Uh, He's going to see what he can accomplish here with his uh, steel striker and uh, flint. Think too much moisture? Maybe. Feels dry. Yeah. Feels really dry. Tricky that way. Well, let's try some more prep. Let's see if we can come up. Well, Terry's going to give another try here. Find my spot.
time for the feral ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, we tried it with uh, even a little jute twine and such and uh, in the bundle. And we're just running up against too much moisture. I've got more charred cloth. Yeah. Time for chocolate. <laughs> okay. Our uh, mitten rack. <laughs> Would you say your mittens are on the horns of a dilemma? Yep. <laughs> anyway, we are going to make some more charred cloth because Terry ran out. So, along with the uh, hot beverages and such, he's going to get his char tin together here. Just feeling too good. Yeah. For all you guys on uh, Bushcraft USA, uh, like Terry was saying earlier, I think we had about four degrees out here, and we've been tromping around trying to find uh, some natural tinder, which we should have been gathering probably on our walk out here. There was plenty of it, but we got into an area that really doesn't have much Not of much. anything, does it? And. Uh, kind of saddened that we weren't paying probably more attention. We had things to make fire, but we wanted to do it with natural tinders. And Terry tried with the grasses and such, but... And, uh, Just wouldn't sustain. Yeah, yeah, so we ended up with a little little jute twine and, uh, and, and the dried grasses, which gave us a little bit more, and then uh, birch bark. And, you know, we got a good, good bed of coals going here. I'm gonna get some uh, charred cloth made and uh, how it goes. That fire feels good though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it sure does. All right. It's been a couple of weeks since I've got to sit around the yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah. Good that you're able to come out. So what do you have there, Terry? Just a whittling stick. <laughs> you said it, you got a, a mora. That's... Oh. What, what number is it? I think it's the number two. I got that uh, from Hunts for Life. Yeah, the winner of one of his giveaways. Ah, so, awesome. Great. Thank you, Hunt for Life. You really helped round out some kits for the wife might have and kid. To put it right out about here, I think. Here she is. <laughs> number two more. No, number two more. Yep. Great little knife. Well, it looks like we got a bed of coals there. Yep. Time to put that chocolate ready. Yeah, let's just get that water boiling.
fire here. Since we've got plenty of water here, we decided on a double chocolate today. Terry says he always does a double chocolate. Almost done. Well, Terry and I are working on making some charred cloth here, and I got my tin off the fire, and, and right as it stopped smoking, put a little stick in there to plug the hole, and uh, so we're going to see how that works, and uh, yeah, look at that. That's interesting. You mentioned there was... That's the same stuff I got. It looked almost like there was some moisture in there, but the cloth came out looking pretty good. hope you can see that on camera there. So I have to give that a try. I did about eight pieces of denim. Let's see how Terry's turned out. Well I think it's about time we kind of wrap it up here. Terry's been uh, using the glove dryer there. <laughs> Though they don't need to be dried. And, uh, getting this packed together. And uh, we'll call it a day. It's been fun. Charred cloth, a little firecraft. Nice day in the woods again. Nice day in the woods, yep. So we're gonna wrap things up here and say goodbye to the beautiful river, Minnesota River. What's that, Terry? Must be up to about 8 by now, so it's a good day. Yeah, <laughs> 8 degrees here in Minnesota. Good times. See any more, but lots of turkeys.